Siren Head. Everybody loves Siren Head. Siren Head, Siren Head, Siren Head. Now, before we start, I want to preface, and I'm going to keep it short. Siren Head is amazing. It is an amazing creature design slash lore created by Trevor Henderson. Personally, it plays into a lot of my childhood imagination slash fears, and I'm sure for a lot of other people as well. So the creature design and the lore that is Siren Head was created by Trevor Henderson back in 2018, which then turned into a game jam game where somebody had taken the artwork or the idea of the creature and had put it to life in the form of a retro style pixelated horror game as there are a lot of those these days. Nonetheless, it was creepy as hell. Something about that creature just really stood out to a lot of people, but it was only recently that Markiplier and I believe Jacksepticeye had discovered the creature and had played the original Game Jam game and also explored the artist's other creations and the lore of Siren Head, which if we know anything about the SCP Foundation and how that translates into video game culture, this kind of stuff just works. So now we have it. Siren Head is one of the most popular horror things to date. I feel like this is almost an identical situation to what happened with Slenderman. It's good horror. Who wouldn't enjoy that? Anyway, so because Siren Head is so popular now, there are more and more games being developed on Game Jolt and Itch.io. My only fear, as it is with everything that becomes popular suddenly, is that it will be ruined by people because people ruin everything. Now there's a ton of artwork out there. People are creating new subspecies of Siren Head. And then there's this fucking thing, this amazingly done video of Siren Head towering over the landscapes. It's a, oh, it's so good. It's so good. And it's no wonder this is so popular. Anyway, I got some good games for you. I'm sure you've probably seen a few of these by now, but nonetheless, I hope you enjoy. Oh, right. I also stole this video idea from Meaty. <laughs> what the... Wait, what? Whoa, holy shit. All right, this is, uh, first one is Siren Head, believe it or not, by Adexin over on Itch.io. Itch.io. Uh, it is said to be the most beautiful and atmospheric and terrifying version uh, of Siren Head in game form, uh, which coming into it, I have to say that I agree that it is beautiful and atmospheric. I'm also hearing whispering in my right ear, I think. I, I don't know what I'm hearing. It's something. Atmosphere is a good word, though. I do enjoy some atmospheric games, and uh, I can't... Can I do anything? I can't do anything. I can jump. I'm hearing stuff. Why is it so blurry? Or it's grainy. It's not even blurry. It's grainy. That actually looks crazy realistic. I'm not... Uh-oh. Oh, no. Holy sh... Okay, yep, that's him. Jesus Christ, you are tall. Dude, this is like, this is like Siren Head 2.0. Like it went from pixelated to now updated graphics for the next generation console. It looks quite beautiful as a silhouette. Is he walking to me? He is not walking to me. Hello? Jesus Christ, what the fuck is that? Is that, that's a crucifix covered with a sheet? I don't think he's coming. Maybe I can actually get out here. I don't think so. It seems like this we're walled off pretty hard. <gasps> what? Okay, hang on a second. We all know there's only one. What do I do? Is the only thing I can do run? I only, the only thing I can do is run. He's gonna hit me. Mm. What the hell? The game crashed. Okay, what the hell? There's two of them. That's not part of the lore. I'm pretty sure Trevor Henderson, the man himself, said that there was only one, one entity of Siren Head in existence. If we're, if we're gonna talk about the lore, how in the hell are there two? I've always seen Siren Head, at least I don't know if it's true. I haven't actually seen confirmation, but uh, it's like how people look at those water towers and they are like, oh, it looks like tripods. Like from War of the Worlds. This looks like a scary path to go down. I guess I'm going. 
I bet this one is already over here. And as soon as I alert one, they both start walking towards me. Is that what this is? Anyway, I just imagine that Siren Head was like, you're passing by a siren pole at night, right? Oh! Hey, beautiful. Yeah, you're walking straight down the road. Okay, so my assumption is I have to turn around and run. I then discover there's a second one. Boom, boom. You realize you're dead and it's over. I just don't get also why why that sound? I remember that sound was playing in SCP Unity and you guys were like, oh, that's Siren Head, it's Siren Head. It's like, I'm pretty sure that's not, that's not an official sound or like what it's supposed to be making. Siren Head's supposed to like mimic people and play news broadcasts and static. Okay, so this is bad boy number two. What's this thing here though? This can't just be decoration. Uh, oh, he's stuck in the, oh wait, I can get past him. He's stuck in the woods. Don't get me. No! I can get past you. God damn it. I almost had it. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely excited that uh, Trevor's getting recognized more because his work is amazing. Obviously, if you haven't seen it, it you, you should. Oh, there's a house. And a, ooh. Ooh. What in the hell? Is this on purpose? Wait, I got myself turned around. Oh, there's another one of these before a house. Oh, wait, no, I'm at the same place. Was there always this house here? I'm gonna get up really close. What a beautiful, this is a beautiful sight. He doesn't really have hands either. He usually does have hands though. I got blood on my screen. I'm being hurt. Dude, that looks so good. Look at that. Okay, that looks, that's gorgeous. Oh, there's the other one. Uh, <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna slip by this guy. Hopefully I can get by. Oh, I made it far. I made it far. Yo, I made it. I made it past both of them. I am not turning around. Oh, I did it. <laughs> yes. Are they both there? I can't tell. Okay, so I made it out. I made it behind one of them. And now I'm gonna, I don't know where the hell this is gonna go. This might just loop around. That would be some shit, right? Uh-oh. What is that? What is that? What is that? What? <gasps> Excuse me? I am hearing whispering in my right ear. Was I supposed to get here? Yo! Was I actually supposed to get here? Dude! That's sick! Is this normally part of the- I think I just won the game, dude. Now I'm safe. Siren Head can't get me. There's a floating light. I don't think I'm supposed to be here. I'm gonna be honest. I don't think I'm supposed to be here. Oh, here they come. Now here's to hoping they don't clip through the building. Cause that would suck. Oh yeah, there's those legs. So I have to figure out how to juke this guy out, which might prove a little bit difficult. He does get stuck, but I don't have enough time to like walk past him or anything. Oh God, that did not work. Holy shit, that did not work. Oh no. Well, this sucks. Ah! Whoa, I'm past the, hello? Why was I able to go this far? There's a tent out here and a gate to a house. Oh, no, wait, that's a cemetery. Wait, what is this? Oh, I can't actually go in there. There's a park bench. That's cute. I don't remember getting that far before. I don't think I can get past this guy. If you guys know how to do it, let me know what's on the other side. But for now, we'll give this game a rest. Again, if you want to play it for yourself, it's free to play on itch.io down in the description by indexing. No fucking way, dude.
Holy shit! Alright, again, this one's called Siren Head. Also, it's developed by Galactic Crows and it's on Game Jolt. There's apparently multiple endings. I don't know what's going on. Okay, this Hello, is everyone. Jesus Christ. I fixed my camera readers, only the system broken, also. I decided to come back again and show you the place. is under the government control. I don't know what is happening here and what they are planning there. I started to hear white noise sounds when I arrived and I saw something behind the trees. It was a siren head, but <laughs> dumbass. Fuck. Whoa. Is that? Oh, Christ, dude! <laughs> All right, this video was really creepy, but I think I'm going to investigate what really happened in that place. Uh, I think this footage was fake, but we don't know. We will see. What? What do you mean? Warning. This game may contain flashing lights, loud noises, and lots of jump scares. Also, this is just a pre alpha demo, and it may contain bugs. Please support us at sirenhead.com. Okay. Uh, what do you mean? Hello, everyone, you starting and to welcome tease. to another episode of Unsolved Mysteries, here with your host, Jonathan. So now, in this episode of Unsolved Mysteries, we are going to investigate an abandoned complex which was told me that a creature called Sirenhead is hunting it. I've received it in a mail with a tape which was really creepy, but you may have seen it already, so yep. And my mission is to see if this is real, but I have a feeling that it's not. He told me to go here night at night, now it's night. And I got me a flashlight and a camera so it can record everything. So we're gonna see what's really happening. Uh-huh. Okay. First of all, this game is ear piercing and I'm currently dying. Second of all, what do you mean? I, I think it's fake, but we'll see. What do you mean? Of course it's fake. What are you, chills? Okay, I have what the f fucking hell. Wait, what? There's something in there. There's something in there. What is that? How do I turn? I can't turn off my lights. What the fuck is happening, dude? Okay, this that was like a proper horror film. Oh shit. Oh shit. Yeah, this was like a proper horror film, dude. That was really good. I, I can't I don't know if that's like the person who made this game had made that video or not. I'm assuming. Jesus Christ, this thumping though. Is that supposed to be him? Just like beating on the doors? Hey, I've recorded it all. Uh, I didn't, what's happening? When I click, it makes that weird noise. What the fuck? All right, I'm super honest here. I'm hearing someone talk. It almost sounds like me. Oh, no, that's not. Something's happening. I don't know what's going on. The static is doing something. Yeah, there's something right there. Is that supposed to be him? I don't know. I'm, I'm very lost. What am I doing here? I was not paying attention to this guy talking. Oh, there's a door. Aha. Oh. It's Eat Interact. 
I figured it out, guys. Stop panicking. Door is locked. Okay, this dude, this is really trembling my entire body. It's way too much. Way too much. Holy shit. Holy shit indeed. Oh, the thing's been released. It's been released. Hello? Did you see that? Yep, everyone's dead. Something moved. Something moved. Hello everybody, and welcome to another episode of Unsolved Mysteries, here with your host, Jonathan. It's told to me that a creature called Sunhead is hunting it. I've received it in a mail with a tape, which I can record okay, yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're gonna see what's right. Whoa! Okay, yep, I'm gone, see ya! Stop the noise! Stop the noise! I can't! I, I can't, I can't hear myself think, dude. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. He's like right there. Uh, uh, oh, no, come on. I, I messed up, I messed up. Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. <gasps> what just happened? Did I just scare it away? I just clicked on it and it went away. Okay, yeah, he just runs. Oh my god, don't turn around, please! No, stop, 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 stop. I'm making you turn around. There we go. Oh my god! Is there like something on the ground I'm supposed to get? This is locked. Is there a key or something? Uh, I can't tell if stuff is changing around me, dude. Ooh. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it! No! No, 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 oh, oh, oh. oh, I got a key. I got a key. I think I got a key. Did I get a key? Where is the door? Where is the door? Over here. I didn't, I didn't do it. What? I got a key. Where does the key go? Holy mother of God. Yes, please go, 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 go. I swear to God, I came from this way. Oh, Jesus. Come on, dude. Oh, really? Really? Oh, God. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Oh, yes. 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 Oh, my God. Please stop with the fucking... Oh, no. Yep. Thanks for playing the Siren Head demo, end of tape, environment design. Yeah, many thanks to oh, Jesus Christ, dude, my ears. That wasn't that was that was just absolute ear. I don't know how else to describe it. Please be warned, it is very loud and shrilly. But that was interesting. I saw at the beginning that there's apparently three different endings. Uh, but I don't think that I can put myself through that again to try and find the rest of the endings. I'm assuming that was a bad ending. There was a brick wall at the end of that door. I thought I was free, but I wasn't, and that's fair. Those videos in the beginning, though, outstanding. The voice acting, let's let's improve on. Let's let's get let's improve that a little bit. Let's reduce the shrilliness. I understand it's supposed to be like a VHS tape, old school, like low fidelity, you know, handheld recorder from the fucking 80s. But let's let's reduce the shrilliness. It hurts the ears. Anyway, that was uh, the Siren Head demo guys enjoyed again this is on game show all the links will be down in the description and uh now we're gonna take a look at the third and the best game of the three really though i hope you're prepared for the level of creativity that exists in this next title it's already blowing my expectations out of the water it's hard enough taking someone's unique artistic expression syndicating it for your own medium and making it something of your own something that emulates what that creation is supposed to be and give the viewers or the consumers of this media deeper 
emotions and reactions than they had with the original. It takes a lot of skill to be able to do that, and I'm glad I'm going to be able to show you that today. This game is called Siren Head. Thanks for watching. I can't believe IGP stole my fucking video.